こんにちは、リサ先生です。Welcome to my channel.In this lesson, as you must have seen on the thumbnail, we are going to cover a very important topic.Yes, the must f o r h o w to convert any verb into its must f o r s o you're going to do this with me, Elisa 先生 in the most easiest and fastest way, okay? And this is a must know topic for beginners, okay? I personally teach must form first to my students because this is what is, you know, a basic need of a learner, okay? Now, what is must form and why is it so important, okay? Now, must form is the polite and the formal form to speak Japanese language. You must be knowing that we differentiate between outsiders and our own family members or friends. So, you can use the impolite form, the normal dictionary forms of verbs, for your own friends of your same age group or somebody older than you or your family. But for outsiders, you cannot do that. You need to use the must form. And this is what I'm going to teach today. So, if you aspire to work in Japan, those who want to work in Japan in the future or even now, You have to treat your customers in the most polite way. Most polite. So, the first thing that you must know is must form. So, this video is for you. And you cannot use the ordinary informal way to welcome them or even talk to them. Okay? So, you have to be very polite, very careful that you not、uh, unknowingly you may even、uh, offend them by using the informal Japanese. So, you must not do that. So, verbs in the must form are used to show politeness. For example, テレビとコンピューターがあります。So, あるは、私たちの言葉を使います。ただ、私たちの言葉を使います。それは、私たちの言葉を使います。それは、私たちの言葉を使います。それは、私たちの言葉を使います。それは、私たちの言葉を使います。それは、私たちの言葉を使います。それは、私たちの言葉を使います。それは、私たちの言葉を使います。それは、私たちの言葉を使います。To use the must form in your own sentences and you will be able to ready to talk to your customers. So let's start our lesson. So, aren't you excited? Okay, hajime masho. We'll begin, but let's begin our lesson with revising the verb groups in Japanese. And I want to tell you that I actually cannot explain you the verb groups in extreme detail over here. Because if I do that, this video is going to be too long and unnecessarily lengthy. So, if you haven't watched my previous video, this video, Japanese verb groups, you must watch that video. And、uh, for precise information, for complete explanation, you can watch that video. I will leave the link of that video in the description box. For now, I'm just revising the groups, okay? Group 3 is the irregular verbs, suru and kuru. Only two verbs, they do not follow any rules, so you have to memorize them. Suru to do, kuru to come. Group 2 is the ru verbs. Ru verbs are the verbs which end with a lu but have a sound of e or e before it. Okay? Remember this e or e before it. Group 1, u verbs, they end with nine different syllable sounds. U, tsu, ru, mu, bu, nu, ku, gu, tsu. You will find these sounds, these nine syllable sounds, at the end of any verb. So that verb is going to, the group, is going to be the group 1 verb. Okay? U verbs. Okay. So, must form the polite way to speak Japanese. Okay. So, we'll begin with the rule for the group 3, the irregular verbs. Okay. For example, as you see over here, kopisuru. Kopisuru becomes kopishimas. So, as I said previously in my o l d video, I've been saying this that they are exceptional cases. You will have to memorize it because they do not follow any kind of rule. So, you can simply say, suru will become shimas. And kuru will become kimas. Okay? The polite form to say to do and to come. Okay? Kimas, shimas. Okay? So, kopi suru, kopi suru to copy will become kopi shimas in the polite way. So, let's,、uh, can you guess what would this be in a must form? Bengyo suru, bengyo suru, bengyo suru is to study. Yes, in the polite form, suru will become shimas. So it will be Bengyo Shimas. Okay, so I think you understood the group three verbs. Okay. What about this? Kuru. Motte kuru. Motte kuru is to bring. Motte literally means to hold, and kuru is, you know, to come. So when you hold something and come, you are basically bringing it, right? So this is how the word is formed. Motte kuru to bring. So kuru will become kimas. So in the polite form, to bring will become Motte kimas. 
持ってきます。Great! You did this! よくできました !Well done! You did the group 3 verbs and now it's time to move on to the group 2 verbs! Okay, must form for the group 2 verbs. Okay, group 2 verbs. Okay, that means they end with the alu, but they have a sound of e or e before them. Okay, so this is the conjugation for group 2. Group 2 verbs will end with the lu. So all you have to do is remove lu and add mas. Simple? Most simple, I know this. Lu is going to get removed and you add mas. Taberu becomes tabemas. Taberu, tabemas. Miru, mimas. Miru, we become mimas. Miru is to see. Okay, miru. So, I hope you understood even the group too. So let's look at this example. Taberu, as I said, tabemas. Miru, mimas. Okay. Now it's time for the group 1 verbs, the u verbs, and especially the most important verbs because most of the Japanese verbs belong to this category. Okay? Here is a comparatively different than the other rests. Okay? For example, if you see in the group 3, it was irregular, so you have to remember them. Group 2, remove ru, add mas. But group 1 is comparatively different. Okay? How? You will see that. Hai ru. Becomes hairimas. Just look at this example. I'm going to explain, but first look at this example. Suaru becomes suarimas. So hairu to enter becomes hairimas. Can you understand the change that is taking place? Yes. You must have understood that the lu at the end, the u sound will become the sound of e. Isn't it? So this is by simple observation. So let's do it. The general rule is to turn the last syllable u. To the sound of e and then add to it. So, hey, you, you, you convert u into e, so it becomes hi, ri, and you add mas. Suaru, u will become e, suari, and you add mas. Suari mas. Great, I hope you can do this. So, this was the general rule for it. Just, just instead of the u, you will convert it into e and you will add mas. Okay, so can you do this? No mu, no mu. So, convert the last u into e, it will become no mi, no mi, and you add mas, no mi mas, no mi mas is to drink. So, let's move on to the second one, asobu, asobu is to play. So, it will be asobimas, yes, u, bu will become bi, kaku, kakimas, hanasu, hanashimas. Great, you did this. So, you can even frame your own sentences like, To speak, speak Japanese, Nihongo, Hanashimas, in the polite form. Okay? Write Japanese, Nihongo, uh, Kagimas. So simple, right? So, Bai, which is Kau, will become Kaimas. Toru, Toru is only in the context of taking pictures, okay? Mostly. Toru, the U at the end will become I, and you add Mas, Torimas, Torimas. So you understood the group one as well. You have covered all the mass form codes for all the group three. So now you can take a chill pill. Okay, so here is the recommendation. Do watch this video one more time to remember what all we did completely once and forever. In case if you feel it was a lot of information, right? So don't forget to like my video, share this, subscribe to my channel, comment below your suggestions because this is going to help me continue this, do this work and motivate me to do more and more. So, thank you for watching and don't forget to do check out the verbs, okay? The video which I recommended at the beginning, the Japanese verb groups. So, goodbye!